Bet. Welcome back to the E1T1 podcast. It's your boy Chief. And today I got a special guest in the building. We got Neek Bucks here. What up, King? What's the deal, baby? Neighborhood Hove in this motherfucker. Uh huh. Neighborhood deal? Hove. Peace, King. What's going on, man? What's the deal, baby? My brother. First and foremost, thank you so much for coming on the podcast, King. I'm a, I'm a nah, fan. For sure, bro. Thank you. And man. I really appreciate you pulling up. Nah, I want to see your shit go crazy, man. Yes, sir. Yes, Hold sir. On. Can I tell a quick story real quick? Let's do it. All right, perfect. So if you from like NYC, fuck that. If you from anywhere right now and you want to talk about New York City hip hop, Neek Buck's name is always at the top of the list, right? Yeah, it deserved to be, man. <laughs> it deserved to be, yeah, right? It deserved to but be. I'm telling here's the how truth. I found out about Neek, right? So obviously you always hear the name, but I was doing another interview with Trillion Dollar T, who plays um, XM on the hit web series Respect Life. So getting into my journalist bag or whatever, I'm doing some research. He had a song called Keeping It 100 featuring Neek Bucks. Mm. So I'm like, oh, this this man is nice. Like, yeah, nah, I got to tune that. in. Hell yeah. After that, I went straight to Spotify. Y'all better pay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, went straight man. to Spotify. First album that come up, Neighborhood Hole. Yeah. I haven't stopped playing it since, brother. Yeah, that's love, bro. That's haven't love. stopped playing it since. And, and, and when did you say you discovered it? Damn, when was the XM interview, Wolf? Like 20, like... Yeah, almost a year ago. Almost a year ago. And you dropped it in 2021. Yeah, yeah. Like, nah. I knew Neek Bucks, but right. Neighborhood Hove. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, it's like, we about to go into the new year. I ain't turn yeah. it off yet. Yeah, when nah, you came love. in, you heard me jamming. Yeah, for sure. Nah, nah I mean. love, bro. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. It feel good to hear people, you know, receive it that way. Because, you know, I spent a lot of time trying to put that project together. You know, I was at, like... A phase of my life where, you know, I was trying to figure things out. You know what I'm saying? Um, quarantine came through. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just recorded that whole project through quarantine. You know, just getting it done. Um, shout out to everybody who gave me features on that project. Mm -hmm. You know, they did it because they fuck with me. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it turned out to be all right. Yes, sir. Uh, we going to talk about everything today. I want to talk about Mask Up featuring 2 Chains. Yeah. We going we gonna to go crazy, but I want to start from the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. So where you from? I'm from Harlem. The east side to be exact, El Barrio. Mm-hmm. Yep. Born and right raised? Right projects, yep. Hell yeah. Born in, I mean, I was born in the Bronx. I was born in Albert Einstein. You know, my first... um. My first apartment was in Webster Projects in the Bronx, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then, you know, we moved to Wagner when I was about four, five years old, and you know, the rest is history. The rest is history. Yeah. So you from Harlem? Yeah. Hell yeah. That's why I did my first everything. Uh-huh. You know so I mean? when did you, like, well, what age did you get into music? Uh, I mean, I was a G-Unit fan early. My dad used to sell old school music, you know, since I was a kid. My dad had cassette tapes, so he'll push me around when I was four or five years old oh, in the shit. shopping cart, you know, while mm -hmm. he sell his music. So, you know, I was kind of born with the air of good music, you know what I mean? And um, G Unit came, I was a big 50 Cent fan, you know, uh -huh. I went to rap because of him. 50. And, you know, I continued on and built my own craft, and, you know, I was real interested in music. Yes, yeah, sir. That was actually my next question, too. I was like, you're from New York, right? You're from Harlem, so musical influences. You would assume, you know, it would be like Dipset or like Cam, but you yeah. said G Unit. Yeah. So like 50, the whole G Unit, like that yeah. was like your number one music influences. Fifth was the reason coming why up. I started rapping. 50. Yeah. Hell yeah. Have you had a chance to meet him? Yeah. Every time I meet Fifth, I, it, I, you know, I act the same way. <laughs> That's like, crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to picture every time I see the nigga because, you know, he responsible for the reason why I took this shit serious. You know what yes, I'm saying? sir. He motivated me to take this shit serious. G Unit 50. You know? And I'm sure oh, he yeah. showed you love when you yeah, see him. Yeah, hell yeah. My first time ever, me and Fifth, I was an adult. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I was a fan of him since I was a kid. You know, when G Unit popped about. I say, like, yeah, like 04 even. 05. Like, yeah. I was, I was probably like, what, 10 years old around that time. And I ain't never meet fifth till I was a full blown adult. You know what I'm saying? And when I you first, were Neek Bucks. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and when I first met him, um, he sent me some bottles. I we was we was in Houston. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, he just, you know, I guess just recognized New York was in the building. He sent me the bottles. I had no knowledge of him. You know, we didn't know each other. We never met prior to this. Mm -hmm. Um, he sent some bottles up. You know, I looked over to say what up. He was already on point. He was like this. So I'm like, yeah, shit, my favorite rapper just sent me bottles. You know, his the champagne he got. Yeah, absolutely. And then, you know, shortly after that, um, we went down there to fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? And I took my first flick with Fifth. You know, we kicked it. I told him how I felt about him. And yeah, hell yeah. Nah, that's love. That was a dope experience. That's one of my favorite moments 
through my, you know, this rap shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, just me and Fifth and shit. Yeah, that's love, yeah. man. And I'm sure if you get that love from 50, you get that love from Yayo, Banks, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the rest yeah. of the unit. Hell yeah. Yayo was in one of my studio sessions. I got the footage. And we, you know, we was there for like an hour. And he was just telling me how fucking dope I was. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah, that was major. Hell yeah. I nah. never got a chance to really kick it with Banks and shit. Nah, that's fire. You know when yeah. they say like never meet, like you know what I'm saying. They mm -hmm. always say like when you young, never meet the people you look up to because yeah. that energy you might you might get from them right. might not like be the, what you expected. I ain't have that experience when I them both of them niggas when I met they was who I thought they was, and they received me the same way. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, hell yeah. Yes, shout sir. Out to the unit, man. man, shout out to 50. Shout out to yeah. the unit. Neek Bucks is here, so you're always welcome. Know what I mean? Yes, sir. So, right, G Unit. That was your introduction to hip hop, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know, do you remember what age you started rapping? Man, I used to write little raps and shit when I was young. Mm -hmm. Like, probably like, yeah, like a kid, 10. Used to write little raps and shit like that. Um, I grew up around that shit, yo. Like, that shit was just always around. You know, like, even when I was in the Bronx, I'd go to the Bronx on the weekend and shit. Um, you know, my my cousin my cousin was outside. My cousin wasn't an indoor nigga, you know what I mean? He was into activity, so my crib was the spot. You get what I'm saying? Niggas in there playing smack <laughs> DVDs. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? All of the Banks freestyles, shit like that. Um, it was a it was a nigga named Shells from where I was from, Cypress Side. He had a deal and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So the music and shit was in the crib. I just was around that shit. Bro. Just around it. It just was. It was. It was just destined to be this way. Yes, sir. So, yeah, I can't even really remember, yo. Honestly, to answer your question, just that shit was just always around. I could have wrote a rap and forgot I wrote it. I can't tell you when, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Can yeah. you tell me when you started taking it like serious? Like, yo, I'm going to the studio, I'm dropping an album. Like, what's good? Um, I dropped my first, my first little project, probably 2012. It was called Projects to the Penthouse. I was mm -hmm. a young nigga. I was like, you know, super in grind mode, just, you know, freestyling on all the hot beats and shit like that. Yes, sir. Um, then yeah, I just kept going from there. Yeah, I got like a dime going hard with this shit. Nah, you know what I mean? and it's paying off. Man. It's paying off for sure, right? Hell so yeah. you said you recorded Neighborhood Hove during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So you had time to isolate, get right, yeah. and put that project out. Figure so out. from start to finish, that project is superb, bro. Mm -hmm. So I want to talk about a couple of the songs that resonated with me. Because you worked on it during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously we all went through shit around that time personal shit, life shit, right? Yeah. But one of the songs that really, really hit me and it's probably one of my favorite songs is Give Me Some Time. Mm -hmm. Give Me Some Time. When I hear that, like, it just makes me think like, yo, this shit gonna work. Yeah. This shit gonna work. So, so can yeah. you talk about that a little bit? Give Me Some Time. Give Me Some Time was one of my favorite songs off that shit too. It was mm -hmm. from, um, at that time I was locked in with a producer, um, my man Smack. Me and Smack was locked in every day. We was in the studio, um, Vibe Studio. Shout out to my man Fetty, cause he gave me, he gave me that studio. He made the studio his home, my home. You get what I'm saying? Without him, you feel me, bro? I wouldn't even have that that vibe mm -hmm. of all that music that you got. That's all one vibe. But um, give me some time, yeah, bro. That's one of my favorite shits. That's me just gassing, saying what's on my mind. I ain't write a rap in like you know five six years, so mm. all this shit is. Off, you know what I what, what I'm thinking, bro. So yeah, yes, sir. That was my vibe at the time. Give me some time. I'm gonna make it happen. I'm happy you said that. Yeah. You said you ain't write a rap in five six years, yeah. right? Hell yeah. I believe you. Yeah. But your storytelling is out of this world. Mm -hmm. So if you're not writing this shit down, like, are you replaying like stuff you went through in your head and then putting it like in the booth? Because I saw the clip, yeah. the clip I commented on that yeah. led to you being here right now. Yeah. And I was like, yo, that's too cold, bro. I got to interview you. Yeah. So even on Give Me Some Time, man, like you, there was a bar you said like got hit in the head trying to mediate. Bro, and I thought that was just storytelling. Good nigga, like I said, a good nigga got hit in the back of his head trying to mediate. Trying to mediate. Yeah. Right? So I was like, damn, like, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. And then on, I believe, the process, um, mm -hmm. you're like, you're blessed because you survived the headshot. Mm -hmm. So I started to put two and two together. Like, yeah, were nah, you talking about yourself? That's two different stories. Oh, two, two different, different stories. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So Give Me Some Time was about another, another person, person. But the process was about yourself. Yeah, 100%. So you survived the headshot. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. We blessed to the max. We here. 
Yeah, for sure. Yo, yeah. you blessed to the max, nah, King. Yeah, hell yeah, which is, that's the name of my next project. Blessed to the it's max. To the that's max. a fitting title, brother. Hundred percent. Blessed to the max. 100%. When it drop? Um, we 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 looking at a February date. You know, okay. we were supposed to drop Top of the New Year. We were supposed to drop for the fourth quarter, but you know, you know, it's a, it was a lot a lot of music dropped and shit like that, and I felt like I wanted a fair shot. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so, of course. Um, a lot of planning and a lot of um, teamwork, a lot of talking, a lot of really, you know, um, trying to, you know, execute this thing the right way. So we're going to the top of the year, first quarter and get it done. Yes, sir. Yes, Hell sir. Yeah. Can we go back to Neighborhood Hove real quick? Because that's my shit. I know we're going to talk about Blessed to the Max, but give me some time, right? That's one of my favorite. And then Pain. Mm -hmm. Pain featuring Benny the Butcher, yeah. another one of my favorites, bro. Like, mm -hmm. again, more storytelling, right? Yeah. But you also showed your range mm -hmm. on that project because we got Give Me Some Time, storytelling. You got Pain where you talk about the struggle coming up, getting out of the mud. And then you got um, Fly Away mm -hmm. with, like, little TJ to show that you could talk to, like, the ladies and stuff like that. It's so much range on that project. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like, as a fan, right, after... Um, neighborhood hove, like your trajectory just was like out of here. Yeah. Did you feel that in like the industry? Like yeah, you I dropped mean, that, like yo, now um when you say Neek Bucks, you gotta put an exclamation point behind it. Yeah, you do. But I'm you know, I'm still I, I would say I'm still underrated in this shit. I don't I'm I'm not I'm not one of them artists that get a lot of um industry support. And I'm cool with that though. You get what I'm trying to say? I feel like, you know, what I do is is for is for who listen to me. You know what I mean? A lot of the times artists get caught up in, oh, you know, I'm not getting the industry support. My favorite rappers ain't posting. Niggas from my borough. The rappers from my borough not posting from my city. They, they're not showing me that love. I used to get caught up in that shit too, but uh, you know what I mean? I do this shit for who love me. You know, nah, my that's fans a fact. whoever tapped in with me. We a community. You get what I'm saying? Like, So that's who I do this shit yeah. for. And from them, to answer your question, from the motherfuckers that's in this community, this Neek Buck shit, yeah, they show me hella love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that shit feel... Greater than anything. Yes, 100%. sir. Nah, I hear yeah. that, bro. I hear that. I'm a fan. Yeah, bro. I'm in that community, yeah. right? Nah, 100%. Yeah, that's I, love. And that's why I'm here, bro. My I brother. felt your energy. You Thank what I'm you, King. Appreciate yeah, that. For sure. I'm in that community, but when you think like New York right now, you mm -hmm. think drill hip hop, or you got like the people that spit bars, you got the storytellers, right? Mm -hmm. I think your lane is like right in the middle. Yeah. Like if I was to classify like a Neek Bucks project, it's survival music. Right. There you go. That's 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 what it is. It's it's it's, it's, it's just authentic stories, bro. It's just me me telling what I, I you know everything I go through. A nigga ain't fully out out of out of the trenches and and, and the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I might not be as active as as I was when I was a kid, but I'm still around. I still you know what I mean. I, I still endure the same pain. You get what I'm saying? So yes, sir. That's where these stories come from. You should still hella authentic and yes, real. Yes, sir. Sure. I mean, it's, we about to go to 2023. I'm still living with Neighborhood Hove, man. Yeah, yeah, that's like, what it's that's for. a great fucking project, King. You, for bro. real, brother. For real. That's like, how'd you come up with the title? Um, yeah, so it definitely was inspired by by Jay Z. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, uh, that's what you know. I felt, and others feel that way. This is how, what, excuse me, the impact that Jay has on the culture of music or where he from, Marcy. However, however they look at him, you know what I'm saying, is how they look at me, you get what I'm saying? Yes, like the sir. way he came up, it was hard for him to get a deal. He had to finagle his way. He had to get his own team, his own group, you know what I mean? And of course, we know what, what Hove do with that pen. You know what he do. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. And he like, as a youngster, like was Hove someone you look, like would listen to, look at, or so? Let me tell you my my Jay Z experience, right? My mm -hmm. my 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 Jay Z experience came later. Me me um, I wasn't. I'm 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 young. I was born in '94, bro. So yes, sir. My Hove was really you know dominating the streets when he was coming up. I wasn't even. So later on, my big homie Zah, you know what I mean, one of the guys who raised me, yes, he sir. really installed Jay Z into me. And when I did my homework and tapped in the the cadences, the stories, everything. And it was like, oh, all right. I see why he is who he is. Hove. Word. I'm Hove. from Brooklyn, right? Yeah. Born and raised. And I, I fuck with Jay-Z, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But I'm kind of like you in the sense where my favorite rapper is Nas. Mm -hmm. From Queens, yeah. and uh, when I talk to my homies about that, man, you, man, you Queens nigga, you a Queens nigga. I'm like, nah, I'm from Brooklyn. I love Hove. I love everything you represent. Love all his projects, but yeah. Nas to me, like, is like the one. Yeah. So to hear that you from Harlem, you like, yo, Fifty. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. It was 50 for me. So I respect it and I understand. But yeah. to name your project Neighborhood Hove. Mm. And the to, biggest, pause. Yeah. The biggest. We know what, what you know what, what's up with them? Yes, sir. The biggest. That's that's what that is. <laughs> the nuts, all that in a nutshell, pause. The biggest. Neighborhood that's, Hove. Yeah. Come and, on. And then where you from in Harlem, you the neighborhood Come on. hove. Yeah. There yes, you go. sir. Come yes, on. sir. It's fitting too. <laughs> and the project biggest. is fire. Yeah, it's still sure. fire, right? Mm -hmm. Um, but before we talk about your bless to the max, because we gotta touch on that two chains feature, yo, that my video. Fault, my fault before we keep going, I don't, mm -hmm. yo, look, I don't, I don't, I don't want you, I don't want like you know, I, everybody that's viewing, I don't want them to think that um, Dipset, you know what I mean, and the Harlem rappers weren't an uh, influence though. Yes, sir. You get what I'm saying? Because that's who I grew up with. You know, I I seen Jim come through my block when I was young. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And later on, I even got a chance to. You know, travel with him, go around the United States with him and share oh, stages fire. with him and do music with him. Jim brought me out to the Apollo, you know what I'm saying? He yes, one of the guys who showed me it was bigger than my block. So I don't want people to think that yeah, yeah. Dipset wasn't an influence, you get what I'm trying to say? Because uh -huh. they was. And Mace too. Mace is another one of my mentors and big brothers. Yes, sir. So yeah. That's I like that you said that because Harlem stick together on yeah, that music. Yeah, nah, I, had, for real. I had to throw that in there. We couldn't just Bypass that. <laughs> nah, nah, that's a fact. That's a fact. I'm sure if they watching, they'll appreciate it too. Like, yo, that's Neek. Like, it's Neek Bucks. Like, we was on tour. Like, we was around the world together. They know me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, I do have a question, right? So, um, everyone in hip hop has a thing, right? Mm -hmm. A thing about them that you always remember, right? When I think Neek Bucks, right, you have a very distinctive voice. Mm -hmm. Like, you know how Kiss got like raspy. Like yeah. when you hear Jada Kiss song, you know that oh, okay, that's Jada Kiss because of his voice. And not a lot of people in hip hop have that. You know, people have the same flow. Some people tell stories, but your tone when I hear a record, I'm like, yo, that's Neek Bucks. Mm -hmm. Did anyone ever talk to you about like your voice? I know yeah. it's a random question, but like as an artist, it's more than just the storytelling or the look. Like it's everything that falls into play. And when I hear your music, like I automatically know, yo, that's Neek Bucks. And mm -hmm. I feel like anyone who doesn't know you or isn't a fan when they hear that voice anytime other they hear it again they'll know who it is mm -hmm. if that makes sense Has everyone yeah. ever told you that your voice is very distinctive oh yeah i get that a lot i gotta I, I know i know i and i know i'm just starting to know it my voice got like this later my shit wasn't always like this oh okay i grew into this you know what i'm saying but um yeah a lot of people always compliment me on it see yeah. you got a distinct uh, yeah. voice i'm listening to your stories and shit it's like raspy struggle but hustle mm -hmm. like i made it yeah. You feel me? I made it. Yo, Wolf, please check out Neighborhood Hole, bro. Hell like, yeah. that shit fire. Yeah, Wolf, man. Make sure you check it, man. <laughs> yeah, Wolf, yeah. Wolf was going down the line to talk about who who we listening to. Uh-huh. So, you know, you, you going next time somebody come in here, you're going to ask them who you listening to, and you're going, yeah, there you go. Nick Bucks. Yeah, yeah, sir. <laughs> Exclamation point. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. boom. Neighborhood Hove is out doing its numbers. The, you always had the buzz, but now it's like, yo, I'm here. Yeah. Like exclamation point, and then boom, mask up with two chains. Yeah. How did that come about? Shout out to my brother Hitmaker, man. I've been working real close with my Hitmaker. brother Hitmaker. You know, the, one of the biggest producers in the yes, game. Yes, sir. He just won B B T producer of the year. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the hits keep pouring in. You know, we all on Billboard. I say we because that's my brother and I'm with him. Yes, sir. We all on Billboard. We all on radio. You know what I'm saying? We killing this shit. So that's how Mask Up came about, you know what I mean? Um, I had a joint, it was super dope, Berg loved it, and he knew who to put on it, because that's what he do, he put the hits together and shit, and mm -hmm. that's where Mask Up came from. Mm -hmm. Shot the video in the A, that shit going crazy. It's going crazy. Make sure y'all sure go tap in the Mask Up, It's at half man. a mil right now as yeah. we speak. Hell yeah, it's on all streaming platforms, that shit going crazy. Seen hit making yeah. in your video, I seen Ray J yeah. in your video. Shout Ray J, yep. Uh-huh, Mask yeah. Up, so that's the first single off the project. Yeah. Nice, yep. it's doing numbers. And you spoke about Hitmaker, right? Mm -hmm. Is that the only song he produced on Blessed to the nah, Max? Nah, hell no. He executive produced the whole thing. This this project is, is bananas. It's, it's, it's me on steroids. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, for real, when yeah. I say that, it's because you know, ain't no, people ain't never hear me like this. You know what I'm saying? I never had this kind of production. I never had these kind of features. I never had, you know what I mean? So it's just, it's, it's, 
It's one of those. It's showing y'all why I'm blessed to the max. You know blessed what I mean? to the max. Yeah. That's a fire title and it's yeah, fitting yeah. for everything happening, right? Yeah, for sure. And this, it's super relatable. We all blessed to the max, my yes, brother. Sir. I'm pretty sure you got a story. Yes, sir. Yeah. Absolutely, brother. Shit, you here right now. I'm blessed yeah. to the max. Uh, uh, there you we here go. right now. You know what I'm saying? My one brother. One of the biggest hashtags in the game soon. Hell I, yeah. Fuck that. This yeah. episode, Wolf, Come on. blessed to the max. Come on. Facts, facts. So that relationship with Hitmaker, right? Did that develop through Neighborhood Hove? Did he reach out? Like yo, yo, I, I fuck with your music, King. Let's work. Or did you meet him in passing? Like how'd you nah, um, link so, up? Yeah, we we share the same manager. Um, okay. my brother B Billy J and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Um, Billy put us together. You know what I mean? And shit, we've been rocking ever since. Energy. Hell yeah. Yup. Yeah. It's, it's it's all we were all one big family. You know what I'm saying? I I promote my brother shit like it's you know like it's mine. Hell nah, yeah. absolutely. It's one of the guys who you know gave me opportunity genuinely. You know what I mean? When nobody else did. So, you know, I'm always appreciative of that. And, you know, any chance I get to big them up, I will. And that shit gonna always come back to you too, man. Yeah, it's always yeah. gonna come back to you. You humble. Yeah. You humble and you show love to everybody. Like, mm -hmm. in your video right now, half a million on YouTube yeah. with 2 Chains and Ray J. And now you back here with me, yeah. somebody on the come up. So, yeah, again, nah, I gotta give course. you credit when That's credit is style. due, brother. That's my whole style. That's what I do. Yes, sir. That's what I do, 100%. I fuck with, 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 with who fuck with me. This Absolutely. Ain't, this ain't no industry shit. This ain't none of that. As soon as I leave BT, I'm back on the block. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like this shit don't like, and I, and that's nothing to glorify. Neighborhood hole. The yeah. There's nothing to glorify because you know my my advice to anybody is if you can get the fuck away, get the fuck away. You get what I'm trying Absolutely. to say? Absolutely. Shit, it, it, that's just who I am. You know what I'm saying? As yes, a person. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So when I listen to Blessed to the Max, am I gonna get like? Because, again, the trajectory after Neighborhood Hove, dude, like, you humble, but you just out of here, yeah. right? You went from, like, Neighborhood Hove, like you said, you was on the block, yeah. to Ray J dancing in your video right now, yeah. right? Like, am I going to get those struggle stories? Am I going to get, like, your history and what you've been through on that project, or is it more commercial? You gonna get you gonna you gonna get some you gonna get some um some of those, but you also gonna get some commercial shit. Let me tell you why though. Um, I showed everybody in this shit I could rap my ass off, right? But now I want to show niggas I can make better songs than them. So whether 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 it do whether it go gold or not, right? Y'all niggas know I can make better songs than y'all. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like y'all already know I could rap my ass off, but I want to show y'all. I can make better songs than y'all. And that's what this is. So I want I want everybody to know that when they hear me, I don't want them to judge me. Oh, yo, nah, he went too commercial. Nah, nah, it's still some pain on it. Still, like yeah. my intro, my intro, I cried in my intro still. I recorded mm -hmm. that shit months ago. I'd get on the highway, smoke one, and cry to it. That's how tough that shit is. I gotta hear that. You get what I'm trying to say? But yeah. I still got them joints that's 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 like fun. mask up. Yeah, that's Club like music. mask up for the for the audience. Yeah. Shout out to Wiz Khalifa. I got a crazy joint with Wiz. Oh, we just shot okay. the video in LA. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that one's stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so, hell yeah. I got some commercial joints on there, but you also gonna get that pain. Nah, that's a fact. Balance. Yeah. Like, we 100%. spoke about, like, your reach. Again, yeah. on Neighborhood Hove, you got Lil TJ, and then you got Sue Surf. Yeah. Right? You got, like, the stories, and then you got your girl. If we have a kid, I want her to look like you. For sure. I say that shit to my girl all the time. Oh, like, she like, we have yeah, a daughter. Yeah. yeah. Like when you talk to them like that. Yeah. Oh, she look like you. <laughs> Beautiful. She gotta look like you. That's a fact. For sure. Now, hell yeah, dude. You mentioned it. Everybody you working with, right? Yeah. Any, like, someone you worked with that it's like, yo, I could see myself in the future, let's potentially. Go back, let's go back to Neighborhood Hove, though. Uh -huh. let's, let's, let's run down the features on those. Yes, sir. Because, you know, I got a lot of a lot of features from a lot of good men on there, too. Um, Shout out to Sleezers Bryce. You know, he was he, he from the east side of Harlem. Okay. He was on a come up, you know, doing his thing. Is, he on, is that the person on MashaAllah? He's on the first song. Oh, He's okay, 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 okay. Put him on my first song, East Harlem. Yes, first sir. Song. He was on a come up, you know what I'm saying? He had a real good sound, and I wanted him to come, you know, you know, contribute to the project. Hell yeah. Stunner Gambino, that's who's on MashaAllah, you uh -huh. know, Stunner doing his thing. Yeah. Um, Shit, Sue Surf. Benny the Butcher, G Herbo. G Herbo. Shout out to Herbo, you know what I'm saying? G um, Herbo. Yeah, little TJ. A lot of a lot of good, a lot of good. Yo, you men, get men, love, men. like yeah. you get love from the them them ones that kick the you that kick sure. the door down. For sure. Like they show you that respect. So that means yeah. they respect your pen yeah. and they respect your grind. They respect your energy too. Hell yeah. You're not like somebody that's like, yo, the industry not maybe like record labels and all that shit yeah. may not be showing that love, yeah. but the rappers are. Yeah, yeah. To, yeah, to a certain extent. Okay. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it could be it could be more support, but I I don't I don't I don't, I don't feel no type of way because I know what's up with me. I know why it's that way. You get what I'm trying mm-hmm. to say? Yes, sir. Sure. Anybody that you haven't worked with yet, besides Fifty, that you would want to work with in the future? Yeah, I mean, of course, you know, as 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 a rapper, I need one from Jay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I need one from Kiss. Absolutely. You know what I mean, I need one from Cam. I need one from Fab, you know what I mean? Yeah, I need Brooklyn. one from all these guys, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like, and, and yeah, that'd be the shit I'd be talking about. Why well, I ain't got one. I mean, <laughs> yo, I mean, you got the talent. Yeah. You got the talent. You got the hustle. these guys. It's New York. It's New York. It's New York. I ain't no rat. I ain't, I ain't no, I ain't myself. <laughs> I ain't, you know what I mean? Ain't yeah. none of that going on. What's up? Why well, I ain't got one? What's, the, what's going on? Speak it. Blessed to the max. Yeah. It ain't the album not done yet. Mm-hmm. It's not done yet. It ain't too late. Yeah. Nah, a, I, a, a song with you and Jada Kiss would be crazy. Yeah. That would be That's crazy. Shout out to Kiss. Kiss, Kiss posted um, Neighborhood Hove when it came out. Mm-hmm. Definitely showed, showed the project some love. Yes, sir. I went to Yonkers and played the whole project for him before it dropped. And shit, he, oh my God, he went crazy. Went crazy. Over. Yeah, bro, it's a that's how I knew. That's how I knew album. it was one of those. That once I went to Kiss, I was in, we was in Yonkers on this block. Mm-hmm. We got in the car, I played him the whole joint. He went crazy over it, and I knew, I knew it was one of those. Do you like? Nah, for real. Do you genuinely like? Kiss went crazy. I get it. He's like top five, dead or alive. But mm-hmm. do you like sitting right here, right now, understand? Like the impact of that album, Neighborhood Hove. Have you felt it? I know you felt it from the Neek Bucks community. Right, and I just joined the community, bro. But I gotta tell you, mm. that's a great fucking album, bro. Yeah, nah, from start to finish. Hell yeah! Like I could listen to it with my homies. I could listen to it with my girl. Yeah. Like you know, yeah. Make sure, make sure y'all go get neighborhood hold, man. It ain't too late. It ain't too late. I want y'all to go, you know, tap in the neighborhood hold and, and, and and you know, hear what I was going through at the time. Yeah. How better I got, and I got more projects before neighborhood hold that people could go. Absolutely. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? That, that people might like. Even you, you should go back and you know- really, I'm going to go back. You yeah, know that. Yeah, just really go all the way back and just listen on, 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 and you can see the process. That's what I love about myself. Like you could you could go back and you could see. This ain't happened overnight, bro. Mm-hmm. This ain't happened overnight. You could go on YouTube. You could go seven years ago and see what the fuck I was doing seven years ago. Shit ain't happened overnight, bro. You, you could Blessed go to the max. Shit. 100%. <laughs> Blessed to the yeah, max. That's the theme. The that's the theme. But do you think like Neighborhood Hove was the one like that put the stamp though for you right now? Or do you think it's like Blessed to the Max is going to be that one? Because as a fan, right, I seen the top names and the features and stuff. I seen the grind. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you kicked the door down in the first song, the first single, excuse me, off your new project is featuring 2 Chains, produced by Hitmaker, yeah. video shot in Atlanta mm-hmm. with Ray J. Working the register, mm-hmm. like yeah, you think that's like neighborhood hove set that in motion for you, or do you think blessed to the max is gonna be yo? I'm out of here now. Nah, I mean I feel like I feel like me dropping song with song with two chains, just and, and and everything that you just named that's going on. I feel like it just show you it just show you that this shit could happen for you. You mm. know what I mean? You take the time and put that work in, and you stay you you stay you know dedicated to your craft and true to yourself. Like I've been doing, this shit could happen for you, man. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta do nothing extra. So I feel like neighborhood hove just, you know, niggas been new what's up. It just show how polished and 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 polished, polished I was, and how polished. good I could put a project together. Nah, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? We did that independent. We did that by ourselves. I ain't have nobody who knew nothing about the industry help me with that project. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that was full independent. Hell yeah. The artwork, the photos, I, I, all that. That yeah. shit look polished as Yo, fuck, bro. My, my my manager Billy came in at the end. Oh, of that okay. project, um, it was already done. Music was done. He came in. He helped me, you know, with the, with with the cover. Helped me, you know, find mm-hmm. a photographer for it. Um, Shout mixing. out to Billy, man. You yeah. a good manager, King. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He he came in and helped me with the mixing, and mastering, and and but the music was already done. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, the creative process of that shit. You know, Billy wasn't there for that. You know what I mean? But he came in and, and instantly helped. You know what I'm saying? But Absolutely. That creative process was was everything. Like you know what I'm saying? It was a good time. I was actually a, a, like real close with with my with my brothers, my friends, because we didn't have shit else to do. Everything was closed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we had the studio. Shout out to Fetty again, because I keep thanking him because it was his studio and he 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 made that shit my home. I was in that shit every day for hours, knocking that shit out. Being productive. Hell Being yeah. productive, man. You put out. 
a project. You already you already had the Neek Bucks community, bro. But again, like keeping it a hundred with Trillion Dollar T is when I first like heard you. Shout out to Trillion Dollar T. We did that. We did that song in the studio. Oh, the same studio you yeah. just told me about. Uh, yeah. And then you went to the hood and shot the video. Yeah. Yo, you an honorable gentleman, King. Yeah. We're, For nah, real. We, we, we didn't shoot the video on his side. Oh, that was your yeah, side. Yeah, we came to my side. Oh, okay. It, at that time, you got to remember, at that time, it was still kind of quarantine. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't really trying to move around like that. You know, I got baby girl and shit. Absolutely. I wasn't really trying to move around. So everything was kind of really coming to me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's why the video, we ain't go up there and do it. Nah, but you did it. I was like, yo, this this man is nice. Yeah. And then truly, like, yeah, man, check him out. Yeah, Went did my due bro. diligence, neighborhood hole, right there. I'm like, yo, the first thing that caught me was the cover. Yeah. I'm like, oh, he on. He got to be on. Because yeah. that cover looked too, that ain't somebody independent. Right. But you were. Yeah, we was Andy, 100%. You were. 100% Andy. I respect that. 100%. Came through. The project is phenomenal. The mixing, the features. Yo, you independent. You got G Herbo. Like, come on. Lil TJ. Lil TJ. You know what I'm saying? How'd that yeah, record come about? I know he from the Bronx and you were probably originally born there and all that. Yeah. How'd that record come about? But you know, Lil, TJ a little younger than me. So when them, when them niggas, when I was going, them, they was younger. They was looking at what I was going, what I had going on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like they looking at me going up, going up, rapping and shit. So, you know, it's probably, it's probably something that he always wanted to do. You know what I mean? You know how, how it be like that? Like you, you might see like, 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 even the big like, homie? like Tony Ayo. You get what I'm saying? Like Tony Ayo might not be big mainstream, but I always wanted to do that because that that's the unit. You get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So back to that, it's probably something TJ always wanted to do. And you know, I I, I linked up with him in LA and shit, pulled up. I played the joint, you know what I mean? And shit, we got it done. By the way, yeah. shit is tough. Any more projects? Like, well, not projects, features with him that um, we could look forward to? Cause that was an amazing I, track. I, I I haven't linked with TJ in a while, but shout out to Lil TJ. You know, mm -hmm. when I get when I get with him and shit, you know, you know, we're gonna bust it up and potentially it'd be more. But you know, bro, moving, I'm moving, you know. But Absolutely. I, I got a lot of love for TJ because he came through and executed for me. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So it was quarantine. Were any of those features recorded together or was it like yo, mail that to me? G Herbo came through. G Herbo came to the Bronx. Shout out to Herbo. He Herbal. came to the studio. He came to the cave where uh -huh. we was at. He came and knocked it out. Sue Surf came to the cave, knocked it out. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Um, shit, Stunner Gambino came to the cave, knocked it out. Um, Sleezus Bryce came through, knocked it out. Um, Benny did his verse in, um, in Atlanta. I was out there with him. Pulled up on him, played the joint. The room went crazy. And he did it right then and there. Right then and there. Yeah. I had I had a good time with that project, man. It was supposed to do what it did. Yeah, okay. I, I yeah. enjoyed it. I that's enjoyed what it. I was looking for. Yeah. I'm like, yo, Neek too cool, man. Like nah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. But that's my personality, bro. No, I'm not impressed. I'm not easily impressed. Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's always more, bro. I'm never impressed. Mm. That shit was cool. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's another level. You know, it's crazy, well, right? Before you got here, me and the engineer was talking about enjoying the now, right? And yeah. everything that you do. And here you are with like a classic, yeah. in my opinion, right. a classic. And you're like, yo, the next one going to be better. Yeah. Like, you just, I mean, you can't never get satisfied, man. It's just somebody, mm. it's somebody turn 18 every day. You got another young nigga turn 18 tomorrow. Yes, sir. And, you know, he, he, he coming with new energy. He coming to, you know, Chew you, chew your head off. He's yes, trying, sir. You know what I'm saying? So you just can't never be satisfied with what happened. You know what I mean? Yes, I love sir. the project. It's one of my favorites. I still yeah. listen to it. But what's next? What we, what we doing next? What we doing? We what blessed we doing? to the max. Yeah. Blessed to the max. What we doing next? Hell yeah. Fire, bro. So are you recording Blessed to the Max at the same spot you record in Neighborhood Hove or are you in LA now? Nah, yeah. We in Jersey now. Jersey. We, we, we you know, the, the studio where I was at, we made that shit hot. Absolutely. You got to remember what came the fuck out of there. So <laughs> yeah, absolutely. we made that shit hot. So, you know, everybody ran to that studio. Everybody, mm -hmm. you know, shout out to Vibe Studios. You know what I'm saying? So the Bronx, that's what Neighborhood Hole was recorded. Shout out to Fetty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we made that shit hot. So I had to go. I, I, I turned, I burnt Vibe up and, you know. Yes, sir. I had to go somewhere where it was a little safer. <laughs> nah, I hear that. For real. Safety is important, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I know you moving through traffic. You need bucks. You got that culture. But evil is real. You know what I'm saying? Evil is real. So I, and you righteous too. Yeah. Like your song title show me that you a man of faith. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So yourself, bro. Yes, I'm sir. I'm born in God body. My pops is a God body. I'm born in this shit. Yes, sir. A lot of, you know, righteous energy, bro. Good 100%. vibes. 100%. So now you in Jersey. 
Yeah. Boom, you got two chains on there produced by Hitmaker. Any other features you could say or you want to hold off yeah, until shit, it drops? We can let them go. Man, I got Wiz Khalifa on Wiz. there. Wiz. I got Benny back on there. My Benny God, again. shout out to Benny. He took me on tour. I love Benny. Um, I got Ray Corn the Chef on there. Mm. I got um CeeLo Green. Um yeah. shit, who else I got on there? Legend. Anybody? Uh, I got my my dog Ivy Scott, you know what I mean? Super incredible so artist, songwriter. Yes, sir. Um shit, and I think that's it. I think that's it. I don't know if I forgot anybody. I, I got Tink. Tink. I don't know if you know who Tink is. She from Chicago. Yeah, of course, artist. of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I got Tink on there. Yeah, man. We are going up. I got the family on there. We doing things. Hit maker all through the joint. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. In the we, videos. It's, it's real family oriented. I'm fucking with who fuck with me. You get what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, man. So are you still independent now? Nah, we on Mono. Okay, Mono, which Mono. was previously E1. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my A and R JY. You know they believe in the vision. You know what I'm saying they gave us a budget. You know for the project and shit. We about to go up. I'm about to make them look like a genius. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. You already started, man. Yeah. You already started. Look at the the lineup. Mm -hmm. Already hit maker. Mm -hmm. First of all, is producing basically the whole project. Like yeah. that. That ain't cheap. Yeah. Nah. Hell yeah. It ain't. It ain't. <laughs> That ain't, ain't cheap. Like, that's how I know you holla, family. Holla at me, man. Holla at me. I'm like, you know what I mean? Go <laughs> sign out. Holla at me, man. For real. That's how the you know open. you family, bro. <laughs> Again, it's the good energy, King. Yeah, bro. That's all That's all, That's all. all it's about. That's all it's about. Your blessings bro. coming through full circle, bro. Yeah, bro. Full we circle. To the max. We blessed to the max, That's a fire. Yo, that's a fire title. We blessed to the max, man. You know, that 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 um title got so many definitions and so many, you know, things behind that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like me surviving a headshot, you know? I, I, I never like to talk about, you know, that situation because a girl lost her life in that situation. R.I.P. And, you know, I was I was, I was was blessed to still be here. So, you know, I never like to dwell on it because somebody else, you know, suffered from that situation way more than me. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Even though, you know, tell your, I'm going to tell my story because it did happen. You get what I'm saying? But somebody lost their life, you know what I mean? And a family suffered way more than me. So I don't really like to shed light nah, on that situation. Nah, for sure. You get what Absolutely. I'm saying? Absolutely, yeah. That's King. why when everybody asks about it, I talk about it, and I, or I don't. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, But you really well, blessed yeah, to the max. Blessed to the max, yeah, for sure. Did 100%. you always know that would be the name of your second album, or that just came to you, like nah, energy? Like, yo, what we doing? You're me, bro. We blessed for real, bro. I ain't going to lie. We yeah. blessed, bro. I, 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 got, I got the privilege to go, you know... I ain't traveled the world yet. I just got my passport that's coming. But, you mm -hmm. know, I've been all around. I've been to so many states on tour doing what I love to do. I've been, I stayed at the best hotels, ate the best food. You get what I'm saying? Like, and I come from, I'm a project baby for real, uh -huh. bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's a blessing, bro. But that says a lot about you, right? Yeah, you see everything you just said. Everything you've been through. Everything yeah. in life. Good, bad, whatever, right? Yeah. Sent you a DM and now you here. Yeah, nah, yeah. You could for be sure. anywhere right now. For sure, nah. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you, bro. Let me tell you what happened, the reason why I'm here. Yes, sir. Because when I did, when I seen your DM, I checked your page, right? And I seen that you had 900 followers, right? And yes, sir. Which is, which is a good thing. Let me tell you why 900 followers is a good thing, because I'm pretty sure your podcast started off as an idea. It did. Right? Yes, so sir. anytime you could get 100 people to follow your page, yo, know, I got 100 people following my idea. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's that's shit. That's I I take 50 people. Facts. This shit started off as an idea, man. You know that's like that's kind of like the approach I take because I got my little line, Captain Smoke, um, that I'm promoting. Yes, sir. So when I got a hundred followers, it's like oh shit, I got a hundred followers. Yes, but sir. back to back to what I was gonna say. I don't want to get off track. Nah, nigga. Hey, um, King. Yeah, it's your so, show. Hell yeah. So when I when I check your shit out and I seen that you had 900 followers, I'm like, I right, bet it's still early. Right, yeah. let me let me fuck with them early on, cause you, bro, you go, one day, even me and my brother was in the in the shit talking, and I told him, I said, yo, they, you know, I showed them your shit, they got nine and follows. He was like, yo, nigga, next year they could be the biggest podcast in the fucking world. Peace, King. You get what I'm saying? Peace. And and that's 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 just how that's just how we view, we view things and we see yes, things. Sir. And when I seen that it was early, I said, yeah, I'm gonna go fuck with them, cause I want to be the first one to do it. Yes, you know what sir. I'm saying? Yes, and then sir. everybody else fall in line, and we we see. How big you get, and yeah. I was a part of the first. You know what I mean? I appreciate yeah, that. When you get your own little spot, you know what I mean? I get, you know, I might be on the wall. You know, nah, what I'm saying? that's so, a fact. That's a fact, <laughs> you know kid. What I'm saying, my that's bro? a fact. That's a fact. For sure, for real. And I'm a yeah. fan too. I nah. see. 
Like, yeah, I only yeah. interview people I'm a fan of. Yeah, nah. Real talk. Like, and nah, I'm a yeah, fan. Bro. I'm a part of the Neek Bucks community, bro. Yeah, great bro. music. But now I'm even more of a fan because you got great character. Yeah, bro. Now nah, the, the feeling great is character, definitely mutual, my brother. bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want you to think that it ain't. You know what I mean? Yes, the sir. feeling is mutual. I'm happy now, to be here as well, my bro. Thank you. Sure. And thank you for yeah. the opportunity, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. pulled up. I was talking to Wolf like, yo, I'm waiting for Neek to pull up, pull up. And then I just look at my phone like, yo, I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, shit. It just got real. Yeah. Again, that's not the journalist that's the fan yeah. try not to fan out like yo yeah, we gotta yeah. talk about pain like yeah, who yeah. you think had the better verse you or Benny like yeah. I'm oh, getting too yeah. hype you know what I'm saying yeah. but then sitting down with you I'm like yo this is an honorable gentleman mm -hmm. like just chill man vibe yo he cool bro yeah, yeah. so I'm so grateful man thank you for real for nah, giving me the shot yeah for sure bro you know what I mean I really appreciate Keep it going. Yes, sir. Blessed to the max. Mm -hmm. That's the name of this episode, right? Yeah. So early February. Yeah. Early February, yeah, no sure. changes, or just yeah. look out for it then. Yeah, look for it, look for it in February. That's what we're shooting for. Absolutely. Yeah. So besides Blessed to the Max, right? You mentioned like the clothing line. You got a clothing line? Nah, nah. So um Captain Smoke is my cannabis line. Captain that I'm Smoke, okay. Up. Yeah, it's called Captain Smoke. Captain it's, Smoke. Captain Smoke. It's my cannabis line that I'm starting up. You know it's what I'm crazy. saying? Crazy. Started off with an idea. I just did a showcase, you know, for it. Um, I had a bunch of artists come out, you know, they all came, we packed the venue out. You know, it was a successful event. Uh -huh. But that shit was dope because it remember, like I said, it started as an idea, bro. And I was able now, to get, I, gotta you know I, mean? I gotta follow, I gotta follow, share all that. hundred percent, bro. Absolutely. And then you got a show tomorrow, right? Yeah, Boston. Boston. We are we gonna be in Boston tomorrow, yeah, for sure. Okay, perfect. For the people watching, right? So I hit Neek, like, yo, let's record Saturday. He like, nah, I got a show. Like Change the date, but this week though, let's make it happen. So that's how we got here today. So the show's in Boston. Um, neighborhood Hove, I'm sure, is gonna be performed from start to finish. Nah, possibly. You know, like I said, man, uh -huh. we on the new things. I got new drops. Okay. I, just, I got a new shit I just dropped called California Dreaming on YouTube. I got Law, Law Freestyle, C2 mm. Freestyle. Like I drop shit in between them. That's dope. You know what I mean? I, everybody need to go tap into for sure. So, yeah, I might perform some neighborhood, but yeah. I'm always on to the next shit. Always bro. on like, to the next. Hell yeah. You performing Mask Up or nah? Yeah, of course. That's okay. the new single. That's what we doing. Yeah. Best <laughs> yeah. to the max. Yeah, <laughs> best to the max. I love it. I love the energy. Yo, now I can't wait. Like, when off camera, I'm like, yo, can I hear a few records? Like, yeah, now nah, I'm grateful for this shit, bro. Uh -huh. I'm grateful. I'm blessed to the max, bro. I'm keep, I keep saying that. Shout yes, sir. Real. I'm grateful for this shit. Yeah, we're gonna go perform the song we got with two chains and all that. Nigga, we from we from Wagner Projects, bro. I'm yes, a project sir. baby. I got a song with chains, bro. And a video. And a video. We yeah. performing that shit every chance we get. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it won't be the last song either. Nah. Cause I could tell from the video just watching it, the fun y'all was having and stuff like that. Hell yeah. Did that take one day? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, because they look like mad different shots, that different shit, outfits, different girls. Like that shit was all day though. Oh, okay, from all mm -hmm. day, all day shot. Fire. Are you uh, like? Do you like the response you've been getting on the tube? I saw the numbers is out of here. Yeah, but, like the yeah, comments and fuck shit. With it. You know, you, you got you got my 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 diehard fans that you know. That's a little commercial. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They but want pain. For the most part, you know, people fuck with it. They get it. Mm. Niggas get it. It's All the right. next step, bro. Yeah. It's the next step. Yeah. You gotta you do that. It. You gotta do it. But I won't ever forget. You know what I'm saying? I, Cause bro, rapping that shit that I rap, that's therapeutic for me. I got mm. so much shit on my brain that I wanna I wanna let out. You know what I mean? Sometimes I don't like to talk. Yes, sir. So that's my only way to, you know. So I never stop doing that shit. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Nah, that's love shit. Podcasting is therapeutic for me. Yeah, bro. Being here saying with people like like I'm a fan of, you feel me? And listening to their story, seeing how they are as a person is super important for me too. I ran into a few people I used to look up to and I'm like, oh nah, you a sucker. Yeah, well, who inspired you, you to a do sucker. podcasting though? What, what made you do Damn, this? that's a good question. So to tell the truth, right? Are you familiar with the show Respect Life? Yeah. All right, so Lee... His uh his name is NYMI. He a rapper, right? He played Lee on Respect Life. Um, me and him are mad cool. That's one of my brothers, for real. And one day I hit him up like, yo, you should do an interview. Cause you got Respect Life, you got your projects, you got your albums and shit. You an actor now. Like, you should talk about this shit. And he was like, yo, you do it. Mm. And I was like, what you mean? He was like, you do it. Mm. I was like, do what? He's like, interview me. And, and never look back. Never look back. So Blessed it, to the max. It, it was no podcast that you looked at and shit and was like, nope. That's 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 fine. It was just my homeboy. That's how you know your circle, right? It was my brother, 
I'm a fan of. You're an actor. You don't respect life. You viral. You got this. You got that. But no one knows. Mm -hmm. You should do an interview. And yeah. he was just like, you do it. Yeah. Now I got the E1T1 podcast. Yeah. And I got Neek Bucks here. Mm -hmm. Killer in the back. Wolf on the ones and twos. Yeah, that's a fact. God is good. I'm blessed 100%. to the max. Yeah, yes you are. Yes, you I'm are. blessed to the max. Yes, you are, my brother. Like, yes, no podcast. Are. Like, yo, I want to do this. Never. And I also, like, I'm good at talking. Yeah. Like, my girl says it all the time. You talk too much, yeah. <laughs> right? It works. Why not? Yeah, let me, I'm going to go talk my ass off on my platform. On my platform. <laughs> right. Nobody can't tell me nothing. <laughs> Nobody <talk> can't <laughs> tell me nothing. <laughs> you feel me? But the name, E1T1, stands for each one to each one, right? So I had a clothing line. So I guess you could say it stems from the the, the name, each one teach one's from the civil rights movement. Mm -hmm. You know, we preach, we talk about unity, black power, all that stuff, black owned businesses. Mm -hmm. But E1T1 LLC I owned and I had a clothing line. I have still with like Muhammad Ali, right. Malcolm X on it, like clothing with a message. So right. that's how I got the name. Right. So I was like, and he was like, you do podcast. And I just put E1T1 podcast. Mm. And now we're here. Yeah. Hashtag blessed to the max. Blessed to the max. But baby. the podcast got two like divisions. So I got yeah. this that I like to do one on one, and then I got co-hosts mm -hmm. for like a traditional podcast. So the next episode I shoot after I go, yo, what's up, everybody? How you doing? How's your mental health? What you been up to? When it's my turn, I'm gonna say, yo, I'm fresh off a of Neek Bucks interview. Mm -hmm. What we doing? Yeah. I'm blessed to the max. Yeah. And then we talk about weekly wrap up and shit, shit going on in the community. Right. And then, of course, I'm going to talk about Neighborhood Hope. I probably already did. Wolf could tell me, because when we say what you're listening to, I'm 100% sure I said Neighborhood Hope. If it wasn't episode 10, it was episode one mm -hmm. from season one. I mentioned your project way, way before we were even here. Yeah, that's when love, When we was at bro. the Come Up studio. That's love. Yeah, Hell King. Yeah. That's love. But thank you for asking that question, bro. Nah, yeah, because, I mean, they got to know. They got to know. know. talk about it. I don't. Not yeah. really, but... Nah, I mean, I appreciate that. Like, it's your interview. You shining light on me. Honorable. Nah, yeah, fam. They got to know. They yes, gotta sir. They got to know why, you, why, why should we watch each one to each one podcast. Yes, sir. My brother. what? Like, the same reason why. Why should they listen to me? Why should we listen to you rap? It's a billion rappers. It's a billion podcasters. You know what I'm saying? So why why should I listen to you? Yes, and, sir. You know, I kind of I kind of like to, you know, go into the world with that energy. Yes, sir. Um, you know, when you, when you talk to me, I'm going to let you know why. You get what I'm saying? Like, yes, sir. I'm going to let you know why. You going, you get what I'm saying? Absolutely. Absolutely, um, bro. I really appreciate that, man. Because when I think about it, yo, I got a passion for talking. I got good energy. And it just translates well on camera. And that's why you should listen to my podcast because this shit is authentic. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Authentic. For sure. Authentic. Just like Neek Bucks. Authentic. Yeah, yeah, we bro. blessed to the max. We blessed to the max. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Before yeah. we wrap up, anything else you want to talk about upcoming? <laughs> like, I could see you being in a movie. I could see you acting. Like, what's up? Besides the music, I know you super, super focused on it, right? But you here, bro. Yeah. Like, you here. Like, Neighborhood Hove is a classic. Yeah. I, got, I know it's early to say, but in my opinion, it's a classic. Nah, ain't nothing wrong with you saying that, my it's brother. It's a classic, right. my brother. I'm, Blessed I'm, to the I'm max a, up next. I'm a super idea man. So, you know, I'm mm -hmm. always thinking about son. I always got son up my sleeve. Got your smoke. I want to do shit, man. I, I don't know. It's just never enough for me, man. Yes, I wanna, sir. I want to write film. I want to do, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Next for the Captain Smoke, I got Captain Smoke Fest. So the shit, that, the shit that we just did was Captain Smoke Fest. That was my first one when I had all the up and coming artists come perform, you know, hey, shout out to all the artists uh -huh. that came tour down, you know, we yes, packed sir. the spot out, wall to wall. Um, I'm trying to do a comedy show next, you know what I'm saying? Because when you get high, you want to laugh. My brother. You know what I'm saying? So If you ever doing one and you need a podcaster, mm -hmm. please reach out to your uh, boy Chief. 100%. Because when I think about that's could put viral. Something together. We could put something together because, you know, I'm on that type of shit too. I definitely want to push the brand forward. So, you know, whatever we do, I just will... Want to put the brand on it, you know what I mean? And shit. You should have bought something for the table too. You could have put it right nah, here. I like, know, I know, bro. I should have. Yeah, like that's my fault too. Like, should, no, I, that's not. That's my fault. I, <laughs> that's, that's not your fault. Because I should have told you, hey, Onique, we got a table too, bro. Nah, like, nah, that's my fault. Uh -huh. I'm supposed to have that on Hell deck. Nah, part two. Yeah, we blessed to the max. Hell yeah, nah. Next time I come, you know, do it with the with the co-host, so we go have a conversation. Oh yes, we go speak about different things, bro. We don't got to just speak about this music shit. I'm 
I'm smart, man. I'm, I'm, uh -huh. I, you know what I mean, bro. I could talk about a lot of things, sports, all yeah, that. People could learn from me too. Yes, sir. You know what I'm yes, sir. Hell yeah, with the co-host. I'm not the only fan out the crew. I'm sure my co-host fuck with Neek Bucks, like for yeah. sure. 10 out of 10, that we gonna make it happen. By the time we leave, nigga, we gonna be locked in. <laughs> Facts. Facts, bro. I appreciate you for coming by. Um, Please, please invite me whenever you do another fest. I'm there. Even if it's not the podcast, I'm front row supporting the guard. Like, what up? <laughs> I'm here for Neek. What up? I'm yeah. a part of that cult. What up? Sure. I'm here. Like, we in the building. Um, Thank you so much. Once again, I got to keep saying it, brother. Nah, that's all good. Good man. luck with You're everything, bro. Yes, sir. Nick's <laughs> born and raised. All right. And we ain't win shit since 72, but I'm here. All right, man. That's I'm here. You up, a Nick man. fan? Nah. <laughs> what's your sport yeah, team, I mean, man? Y'all doing better than my team. Warriors? Lakers? Nah. Yeah, man. Come on, Neek. Come on, man. You a legend. You a New York hip-hop icon, bro. Yeah. You can't be a Lakers fan, my G. Nah, fuck with the Lakers, man. You a, a Lakers Kobe fan? fan. Or, a Kobe oh, Kobe. Fan. Okay, that's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a Kobe How, fan. What's different, though? How's it Cause different? Because you a fan of the player, not the team. But... Nah, yeah, I gotta be with the team, man, because that's the team he played for for twenty years. <laughs> what if he went... came to the Knicks? You would have been a Knicks fan, possibly. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Essentially, so I, I'm stuck with the Lakers. All right, that's... cool. Yeah, I respect it. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's technically the team he played for for twenty years. So you fuck with LeBron? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Because he's <laughs> over there. If he wasn't over there, probably not. All right, cool. I mean, y'all yeah. three and ten right now. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we know what's gonna happen. No, nah, I mean, talking about happen. trading players. You know what it is. Get rid of all of them. <laughs> Including LeBron. Everybody. Start fresh. Everybody got to go. Shit, I understand. I'm, I mean, it's, I'm a Nick fan, so every year is our year. Yeah. That's, the Nick fans are delusional. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you. I got to get rid of Randall. Think so? So let's trade him to your team. Let us get Anthony Davis. I mean, y'all want that? Y'all going to have to deal. Y'all going to have a durability issue. Yeah, that's true. Y'all really want that? Damn, that's all y'all only play I would trade him for. LeBron ain't coming. I mean, he don't got to come to L.A. Oh, yeah, that's true. I don't want Randall. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I'll take um, Cat, Car Anthony Towns. Yeah. Send him over there with R.J. Barrett. Let us get Cat. Send R.J. Barrett to Minnesota yeah. for Cat? With Randall for Cat. Oh, no. Nah, that's For the too contracts. Much. You can't get rid of no R.J. Barrett, man. Oh, you fuck with R.J.? You got to keep Barrett, man. He, yeah, he got potential. I want to keep him, man. He too inconsistent, though. That's true. You know what I mean? Like, you got to be... It's New York, bro. Your Knicks fans are crazy. We beat mm -hmm. Brooklyn one game. We was, like, in the championship. Who y'all best player? Jalen Brunson. In my opinion. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. In my opinion... That's, That's crazy. Nah. <laughs> That's, That's crazy. He, was, nah, he bring leadership, bro. Yeah, like, your crazy. best player ain't got to score 30 every night. They got to be worth following. Like, you got to be a leader, bro. He lead the team. Nah, leadership. Nah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Oh, shit. For sure. So who the best player on the team? Derrick Rose. Come on, man. Come on, Neek. Come Derek on, Rose brother. Derrick Rose the best player on the Come team Come on, right bro. Now, you yo. neighborhood hove, man. You know better than that. Yo. Think so? Yo, hell no. Randall ain't shit, my nigga. <laughs> Five eleven. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why Derrick Rose is the best player on the team. Mm -hmm. Last time y'all made the playoffs, you a Knicks fan. Absolutely. You watched the playoffs. Absolutely. Who did they lean on? Her Rose. Buckets. Rose. That's a and damn versus shame. The, and versus the Hawks, who that's didn't a, show up. That's a damn shame. That man about 30 something, 33 years old. True. Three knee surgeries. True. But in the biggest moment, he ain't show up. Ooh. Trey Young was smoking him. Yo, he carried... He His back was hurting. <laughs> his back was hurting. His Yo, back was hurting. This bug's crazy. His back was hurting. Nah, he did carry... Nah, Julius had an MVP season. Come on. A what? That year, Julius Randle had an MVP what season. in the playoffs? He disappeared. Disappeared. I can't argue that. I can't argue that. So you good. You can keep your bubble championship. You know what I'm saying? No shade. I don't like it. I don't, I don't jack that shit. You don't put that? All right, cool. I, I respect yeah. that. It was cool. It was cool. <laughs> it was cool. I mean, I don't, I ain't, I ain't jack, I don't jack it. Uh -huh. The bubble. I mean, I a championship for championship, right? I guess. Man, Fuck I guess. it. We both suck, man. Kobe but this never won a championship with no crowd, man. I don't know. You said who? Kobe. Gasol? 
Never hold him. No, never won a championship without an actual crowd. Oh, okay, okay. You know what yeah, I'm trying to yeah, say? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Matt, can you picture Michael Jordan with no crowd? Never. And that's coming from a Laker fan. I respect that. That's playing in the gym. You you're scrimmaging damn near. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you scrimmaging damn near. With Zoom. <laughs> with Zoom niggas in the back. Nick Bug said, you scrimmaging. Now, scrimmaging. I respect that, though. As a Laker fan, for you to say that, that means that you enjoy the, the game, the sport. Nah, yeah. The I sport of basketball. Me too, man. For sure. Basketball, my close number two. All right, Neek, man. You want to sign yeah, off, man. brother? Yeah, we out. Yeah, we out of here, man. Yeah, um, blessed to the max coming in February. Neighborhood Hove out now. Make sure y'all go tap in. Fire. Captain Smoke out now. You know, that's my cannabis company that I'm starting at Captain Smoke NYC. Um, my Instagram, Neek Bucks, N E E K B U C K S. Make sure y'all go tap in, um, subscribe to my YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Just come fuck with me. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, y'all. You heard it here, man. Blessed to the max, February. Shout out to Neek Bucks, man. Round of applause. Wolf going to take care of all of that. It's your boy, Chief. Follow me. Each, the number one teach, the number one podcast on um, IG. And subscribe, E1T1 Podcast on YouTube. Once again, each the number one, teach the number one podcast on IG and on YouTube, E1T1 Podcast. Salute. Peace. We out of here. Neek Bucks, my brother. Thank oh my you God. so much, King. Yeah, bro. Love, Thank bro, bro. you. Thank you. you. Know my yes, God. sir.